I will try, of course, only with the DSLR to visually indicate the location of this nebula. Don't miss this. <laughs> wow, that is interesting. M57, it's called Ring Nebula. Hmm, maybe that could be my next project. So the Ring Nebula M57 lies in the constellation of Lyra. The glowing ring of gas is the result of the death of a sun-like star. It has a quite complex shape. I think I will try to capture this crazy ring nebula with my DSLR. Why not? Easy. Okay. Faint object. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Magnitude of 8.8. .8. Faint object, okay. But what does the magnitude actually mean? M57 lies in the constellation of Lyra with the brightest star Vigo. Let's take a look at the apparent magnitude of some stars of this constellation. Vigor, as I said before, is the brightest stars with an apparent magnitude of about zero. Here you can see the magnitude of two other stars in this constellation. But what about M57? The apparent magnitude of M57 Ring Nebula is about at 8.8 .8 plus. So that's a very dim object. But what does dim mean? So I did some math. So let's assume the magnitude of zero is equal to the diameter of the Earth. Then the magnitude of three would be equal to the distance between Paris and Berlin. So if a magnitude of zero equals the diameter of the Earth, a magnitude of plus 8.8 .8, like M57 would be equal to the distance between London Tower Bridge and Westminster Abbey. If you compare the brightness of Vega to our Sun, Vega is 0.0000000000158 fold as bright as the sun. Holy shit, that's a dim object. Wow. Hmm. I need quite bright objects. Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory on Mount Everest was asked why did he want to climb it? He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. Challenge accepted. Thank you. Let's try to find this object, or at least an indication for it, in the night sky only with the DSLR. Did you see the newspaper? So how to find M57? Although it's a quite faint object, it's actually not so difficult to find. Because um, in the constellation of Lyra, as I said, you have this very, very bright star Vega and two other very bright stars or quite bright stars. So M57 
is almost half the way between this star and this star. So here it is. The beauty <laughs> with the plus 8.8 .8 magnitude. Faint beauty. Let's go to the balcony, hope for good weather and let's try to find this object. So after waiting for astronomical darkness, I set up my camera equipment and then I searched for a bright star. So it was not difficult to find Vigor in this constellation. So here what I'm doing is focusing on Vigor. Since I have a limited focus range or focal lens, I cannot use a button of mass. So I tried the digital zoom to find my perfect focus for the star and it worked quite well. So then I took a bunch of photos, also dark photos, with the settings I show you here. As I said before, my location is very light polluted, but this night it was quite okay. So yeah, I think I'm not the right person yet to show anybody how to improve his or her pictures with post image processing because I'm still learning and uh, I'm really not an expert and I'm far away from this now. So just a few words. For post processing my stacked photo I only used three functions in GIMP. One is stretching, one is curves and values to highlight some less bright regions in the picture and a little bit of red and green reduction. Important note, all regions in the pictures were treated equally. So I did not highlight individual regions, for example M57. I only used two programs, one was Lan Lankius, or how you pronounce it, for stacking and the other was GIMP for post-processing. So yeah, how to find M57 in my stacked post-processed image? So let's see. So after stacking, I aligned a picture of the constellation Lyra to my photo. Then I zoomed in to a location where I suspected M57. Again, I aligned a picture of the constellation Lyra um, and zoomed in. I set some points for orientation using brighter stars. The green arrow marks the position of M57. So does it match with what I captured using only my DSLR camera? I'm so excited! Yes! I did it! So cool, I really found it. Wow, crazy. Just by using my camera under heavy light pollution and without a telescope or a star tracker, I'm really surprised, wow. Of course, that's not a real picture. Actually, it's more like a couple of pixels, but actually it's a picture, right? Picture is only a couple of pixels, more or less. Faint object, faint object. So yeah, this was just a little experiment and I'm really happy with the outcome. I did not expect this, really not. I hope you had some fun watching this. 
and more crazy stuff is coming, I'm sure. <laughs> so see you next time. Clear skies. Wow, crazy. We choose to do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. <laughs>